hello i welcome you to this video in this video i'll be showing you how to raise part of your concrete fascia and at the end of this video you will learn how to raise part of your concrete fascia like this and without wasting your time let's get started right now i'm inside my rabbit and this is where i want to have that part raised up you can see i've already raised this side so i will show you how you can raise this side now all right now i have already created this concrete face here and i believe you already know how to create this if you have already know how to create this then let's proceed to raising it up if you don't know how to create this i have a video on that you can watch that video to learn how to create this basic one that this this one that goes around so you must know how to create that one before you can know how to step it up okay now let's step it up now to start with i will need to open the roof first so while i am on the roof i go to architecture tab and I select vertical this one you can see it here vertical opening I select it and I go to roof make sure this select element by face is on so that you'll be able to select the face of your roof okay now I can select this the face of my roof now I click now the roof is selected now if I like, I can go to the plan that will, that will allow me to sketch properly. Let me go to the roof plan. And this is where I want to have that part raised up. So I'm, I'm going to sketch just a rectangle here. Just a small rectangle there. And see the way I sketch it. It's a little bit it extends more than the roof so that it can cut the roof and once you have done that you can finish it and looking at it in 3d now you see that it has already cut the roof can you see that yes it has cut the roof now and if you want it to be exactly where you have this design then you must have a marker there let me go to front view and add a reference plane so that by the time i get to the the roof plan i will be able to know where that point is so i'm going to have my reference plane somewhere here so that it will indicate where that point is all right now I go to my roof plan I'll go to my roof plan now and I bring my cursor here okay now as I bring my cursor now you can see now that what is about to be selected is roof opening court can you see that roof opening court opening court make sure that is what you are selecting you can select roof you can see i can select roof i don't want you to select a roof i want you to select bring your cursor at the edge here you can see it has now selected roof opening cut opening cut okay so you select that particular one and you can see what is selected is the opening it's not the roof and you can now see edit sketch here i click edit i will use my align tool to align it to this reference plane Al align it to this reference plane and here we go i finish it so you can see that it's now aligned to that reference plane now let's go to our front elevation you can see that it's it is properly aligned now all right if that is done the next thing we want to do is 
we want to break our concrete face here we want to break this one that is that is here because i don't want it to be shown here i want this side to be cut and for me to be able to do that i am going to copy this up so i go to front elevation i want to copy this particular one i select it copy and click somewhere and drag it up i will take it up by let's say 1000 mm take note of the height you are taking it to because we are going to use it later okay now i have two copies now one two this particular one i don't want it to show here so what i will do now is i will cut from here and delete the remaining one so i select this particular one only the concrete fixture edit and select it again edit sweep and sketch parts select sketch part and go to any of the floor plan that can give you the sketch part and here we are so i will simply cut it to where we have the reference plane you can see our reference plane before so i'm going to delete all this one now and make sure this is actually stopping at the reference plane you can see that clearly all right having done that i finish this one now finish it and finish everything go to 3d you cannot see that this one is this concrete face here is stopping here now so i need it here i need it i need just a small one here so all i need to do is I will go to my front elevation again and copy this one again copy it down by one meter you remember we take it up by one meter the other time so if i take it down by one meter it means it's going to be in the same position all right so i select this one edit i select it again edit sweep and sketch part then let's go to the roof plan okay that is the roof plan and all other ones are going to be deleted every other thing is going to be deleted delete from here all right now i am going to we have a reference plane here that is where i want it to stop so i pick this reference plane and if i like i can go to the ground floor plan and make sure that this one is stopping at where we have the wall so that it will hit the wall all right if that is done I am go I'm going to finish that now. I'll finish that and go to 3D. You can see we now have our concrete face here there. Just a small one. We have it there. All right. Don't worry, we are going to use this one again. Let me hide this one for now. Let me hide it. We'll use it later. All right so we have this opening here we want to have this small gable roof so we want to have this i simply go to my roof plan and here i am and i pick roof if i like i select any of these and create similar and select any of the level and click yes then simply draw 
a rectangle and make sure define slope is selected so that the roof will be able to slope to some ends that you want it to go okay that is the rectangle and since we already have one here let me align the face with this let me align the face with this so that they will be on the same line then this one is not going to slope so i'm going to uncheck define slope this one will slope this one will slope and this will slope all right now i want it to to extend a little bit beyond this line by 45 45 centimeter or 450 mm so i'm going to click offset and type 450 and i'm going to uncheck this copy i don't i don't want it to copy so i offset like that and this way all right that is that and we are going to finish it for now let's finish it and look at it in 3d look at it in 3d and you can see it is not the same angle with this one this angle is what this is 45 so i select the slope of, the, of this one to be 45 as well and click apply mm -hmm. then let's go to the approach view now and here we are i am going to bring it down just simply select move and move it down move it down if I like, I can align it to the existing one. Let's save our project for now. I align it to the existing one. Since we already have it there. If you don't have it, you can determine it. And that is that. Okay, now let's look at it in 3D now. Let's look at it. You can see, you can see the roof is already there. The roof is there, but there's no concrete face here for it. There's no concrete face here for it. And there is one concrete face here we copied before that we hide. So I'm going to unhide it now. This now we want to use it. So I simply select this and edit. Select this one again. Edit sweep. And go to sketch part. Go to the floor plan like roof plan and delete any of these all these ones that we are not going to use we're going to delete them so i align this one to the small roof gable we have there and this one will be aligned to this and i pick another one and to this roof and i can use trim to clean this place i can take this one back a little bit somewhere there and let's okay that is that i finish it now let me finish it and look at it in 3d and see what we have created okay we can see that it is above the the roof we want it to be it's not a big deal i'm going to go to approach view and move it down let's move it down just exactly on this roof okay now if you look at this and look at this they are not the same can see that some part of this concrete face here is hidden and that is because it's bigger it's big so what i did here is i reduced the scale of this particular one so i want to reduce the scale and edit it again 
select it edit sweep and this is the profile select the profile it is the profile i want to edit so while the profile is selected click edit profile and we can edit profile here all i want to do is i want to reduce it so revit allow me to scale it so if i select it now you can see scale here i pick scale and i can pick from here to this edge and reduce it small you can see the size i am having and you can see that this is smaller than the original one we have before but somehow they are still the same concept but it is a little bit reduced let me move it here and move it back by 100 and press enter okay so we have our 100 mm and i'm going to move it down let's move it down uh -huh. like that okay so i'm going to finish it now and here we go okay and let's look at it in 3d and that is it there okay that is it and is the same as this all right that is how you can create that kind of concrete fascia that is exactly what i did here if i if you look at it now this this one is a separate a separate concrete fascia this is another one this is another one all these ones are small 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 one i simply copy it and edit it all these one are separate separate you just edit them it depends on the number of pent roof you have you just copy and paste when you paste it you edit it and if the size is too much in some of my design the pent roof is always smaller than that of the main roof so i can just use a scale to scale it down a little bit and with that you are good to go and i hope this video has helped you and if it does don't forget to give me a video testimonial and in case you have not yet gotten access to lumion tutorial masterclass for you to be able to render and get a high quality like this it is advisable for you to use lumion i'm going to be leaving the link in the description of this video you can tap on it and gain access to lumion tutorial masterclass all right see you over there bye